Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Cardano and its native token, ADA, using logarithmic regression. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. The last time I posted this chart on this channel, this is what it looked like. It was back in, I think, July of 2020, or sometime around that time period. And one of the things we've said with this chart is that you should really take it with a grain of salt. There's just simply not enough data to, to look at to have any type of realistic expectation as to where the price of ADA could trend. We, we more so had this regression chart more as a thought exercise to try to just compare because we talk about it for Bitcoin a lot and for Ethereum a lot. And unfortunately for something like ADA, we really just don't have that much data. Um, hopefully after after another cycle, we'll have enough data. But for now, this is all we have to work on. This is what the chart looked like back then when I, you know, when I first discussed it, or the last time I discussed it anyways. And this is what it looks like if you update it. So you can see we essentially, you know, we, we came up a little, we came back down to the purple line, and then we've moved up two and a half regression lines here. Now, the actual regression lines are somewhat irrelevant, right? They're, they're, they're completely irrelevant. Uh, obviously, you could draw these any number of ways. We just use these to try to interpret where we may be in terms of a more macroscopic move. One of the things we've said is that we would expect diminished volatility from last cycle to this cycle. And unfortunately for ADA, we don't really know what it would have done last cycle. We only saw what it did at the very end. You can see, at least so far, we've been on a more systematic move up over a longer period of time rather than just a, a, a blow off top that lasted a few weeks and then back down. So with that said, um, one of the things we need to need to, or one of the things we should look at is the peak. So I don't anticipate us ever getting to the blue regression line again, just because it's, it's moving up very quickly. For instance, for us to be there at the current and, you know, at the present day, it would co correspond to almost a $20 ADA, and it's only going to keep going up and remain even more elusive. So again, like Bitcoin, like Ethereum, we would expect ourselves to fall down a few logarithmic regression lines as measured from the peak. Now, what's interesting is if you look at the last move, you know, when we were moving up, we speculated on, well, how long can it keep this trend going? And you know, if, if it had kept going, the hard part is knowing when the momentum stops. If it had kept going, then we could have reached our current valuations. We could have reached it, you know, five months ago or so. But the momentum shifted. We came back down and then ultimately geared back up again. So the hard part is knowing exactly how long this move will take. For instance, right now, if you were just to copy this line and put it over here, essentially from the bottom, if we were to go all the way up to this blue line, it would more or less correspond to a 50 cent ADA. Um, and hopefully we can make it to a 50 cent ADA in the not so distant future. None of this is financial advice. I'm just giving you guys my somewhat dubious look on the markets using logarithmic regression of ADA. But what we can note is that, well, you know, the price is increasing relatively quickly. What if it keeps increasing approximately at this rate? Well, if it did, then we could be looking at a $1 ADA in the not so distant future. We're not saying it's going to go to a $1 ADA. All we're saying is that if this trend, if this trend just simply continues for a, a couple more months, then we would be looking at approximately a $1 ADA. We can call it maybe our, our doubling time, but I didn't exactly measure the amount of days it would take. Again, if we continue on at this rate, then a little bit later in 2021, you know, maybe by the end of Q1, we could be looking at a $2 ADA if we continue this trend. And if we continue it even longer to the purple band, then we could theoretically be looking at a $4 ADA later in 2021. Now, again, the likelihood that ADA is able to maintain this price move to you know, $4 is, is somewhat unlikely in the short term. So we need, to, we need to recognize that. The point is to say, you know, what we do know is that the price of ADA has been increasing relatively quickly. And if it were to continue increasing this quickly, and obviously we're looking at it on a logarithmic scale, where would it put it in the next few months? And you can see it depends on how, how long how long we stay on this trend. You know, if it's just another month or so, um, 
or even less than a month, we could be maybe a few days potentially, uh, we could be looking at a 50 cent ADA. If it, if it continues out for another month or so, maybe a $1 ADA and then a two and then a four. It depends on how long the trend can, can last before we see a momentum shift back down the other direction. And again, that doesn't mean the market cycle's over even when we do experience a systematic correction. It just means that we might need to gather ourselves go back into another accumulation mode against USD and against Bitcoin for a while, and then maybe we can continue another leg up later on in the cycle. Because we had a leg here, a leg up here from March that lasted until the summer, and then we had another leg up that started uh, late 2021 and so far, or sorry, late 2020 and has continued into 2021. So we'll see exactly how much longer this can last us. Note that if it lasted approximately the same amount of time, and, and obviously we're measuring the same slope essentially uh, that it did in 2020, then it would end at about a 50 cent ADA. But again, there's no guarantee that we repeat this exact move. Um, so we'll just have to see what ultimately transpires. You can see that this this move more or less moved up one, two, three regression lines, give or take a half a regression line, right? What's half a regression line among friends? And we came back down um, and then we went up one, two, uh, sorry, so, so here we came up one, two, and currently we're up three. But you can see this one went up three and a half. And if you wanna even include this half as one, you could say up four. So if this one were to go up four, it would put it at the blue line in the not so distant future, which would also correspond to a 50 cent ADA. If you guys like the content, this is obviously a dubious chart. You don't need to tell me about it in the comments below. I know we're just looking at the at the trends on a logarithmic scale for the most part. Um, but we are having a sale on the premium list. And if you if you wanna join the premium list and get access to the weekly reports, the weekly videos, the Telegram alerts channel, the Telegram chat room, the risk dashboard, the premium only live streams and a whole lot more, and the trading view indicators, make sure you check out the link in the description below it'll have a, a link to saying premium list off season sale check that out uh, also you can subscribe to the channel let's go for 110,000 subscribers give the video a thumbs up check out the telegram channel thank you guys for tuning in i'll see you next time bye